people have no idea the exhaustion and the loneliness and sometimes the abuse that accompanies ministers and missionaries. Well, we've chosen to open up our home as a retreat center because, you know, if you think about it, human beings are designed for a relationship. We crave relationship. Our eternal destiny is based on relationship. One time I had a missionary out on our boat and we just sat out there and he'd chat and share with this, that and the other. I found out next time he came back to the area, he preached at our church, and he said, had I not spent that day on the water with Larry, I would not be in ministry today. Oh, the water looks beautiful, goodness. The word says, the shepherd leads me beside still waters. We like to put you on still waters. We want you to have a sense of being carried, just like the Lord carries us. We can't heal everybody, but whoever God brings across our path, yeah. whoever he sends to us, we, we try to give them the opportunity. You're welcome. Our stories are very common, and a lot of times ministers and missionaries have nobody to talk to. Hey, you're right on time, welcome. Right. We've got coffee, come on in. We did a lot of work, remodel floors, the hotel suite, kitchen remodel, a lot of the work we did ourselves. And the heating, ventilation, air conditioning was to be finalized on November 9th of 2018. And on November 8th of that year, the campfire came into town and all that was burned to the ground. So everything that we'd worked on for you know months and months and months was now about 18 inches of ash. When the campfire hit, I could not believe how far and how fast the fire had moved, that all of a sudden the whole town was engulfed in flames. Got in the truck and drove up around the corner. That's when I realized the whole town was being evacuated. And I could see in my rear view mirror this massive wall of deep, deep black, just fast, rapidly moving towards my vehicle and just praying that traffic would get moving and we get out. It is the deadliest wildfire in California's history. It's one of those events I hope I never have to go through again. We ended up staying at our daughter's house for 14 months. I remember one night after the fire, we were out of creamer for coffee, and someone said, Larry, why don't you go to the store and, and get creamer. And what went through my mind was, with what? You know, everything's gone. I don't even have socks. And I got out of the car, and as I took a step towards the front door of the market, I looked down and saw a coin on the ground. So I took a few more steps, and I think I found a nickel. And I see a piece of paper skitter by, and I stomped on it. And when I picked my foot up, I picked up a $20 bill and looked at it, and it said, yeah, in God we trust. Okay, I get it, I get it. Help me to never again doubt your provision. You've got this. Hebrews 13, five says, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. When we rebuilt this place, it was not near the emotional attachment because we had a very real, surreal lesson in life. This really is all temporary. So stop and think what really matters. Do you want to spend more time on the job or would you rather spend more time with your family, your kids, your grandkids? Because what lasts forever is those things that are eternal and what lasts for this earth is memories. Uh, and are you making memories with those you love? Are you establishing relationships that will not pass away when this earth does?